All right, guys. So this is my Bucks 371 Stockman. It's probably the most traditional knife that I own. It's a three blade. Got a traditional clip point here. Go the opposite direction. It's got a nice little sheep's foot. And here, on the same side as the clip point, it's got a fairly unique blade shape called a spay blade. And this one is apparently particularly useful for doing things like castrating sheep. I don't know why that gives you an advantage, but apparently it does. It's in 420J2 steel, which is about as mundane and ordinary as you can possibly get. So, it pales in comparison from a standpoint of technology to this one. So this is my Kaiser Mini Bag Letter. So, this one's got my card handles. It's actually got a nice little modified, I guess you'd call it sheet's foot, kind of reverse tanto blade with a nice little sweeping curve to it. It's in 690 steel. It's actually Cerakoted, deep carry pocket clip, very much a modern knife. Rather than just being a slip joint there, it actually even has a liner lock. So, very different even though they're about the same size. But both of them pale in comparison as far as differences between that and these incredibly unique knives that I'm also going to look at here. This is in fact a Cricut Columbia River Nice and Tool snap lock here. So this has a really, really re unique closing mechanism. As you can see here, it actually doesn't fold this way. But what happens is when you actually turn this little pivot here, it spreads apart the outskirts of the blade, or the handle rather, and you can ro rotate the knife out. And you've got a very, very unique situation here as far as the way that the blade works. So it's literally kind of a pivot lock. This works Almost like, I guess the best thing I can compare it to is actually a tuning fork. So when you push this little pivot here, it actually spreads things apart. And there are little channels in both sides of this handle here. That when you actually click it into place, make it stay there. And it's not going anywhere. It's actually really pretty neat. So, er ironically enough, this actually has the same sort of, sort of blade steel as our friend over here. The buck knife. It's 420J2. So, not that great as far as that goes. It's a little bit hard to use from a standpoint of being doing it one-handed, but it is doable, as you can see here. But does, I will say, take some practice. A little harder to close. This one's even more unique. So, this one is apparently based on a paratrooper knife designed from World War II. So, I'm not even going to pretend to be able to do this one one-handed. The way this one works is you actually flip it out like this by rotation and then you actually move the knife blade out. Now there's no chance of it going anywhere. As far as a lot goes, this is pretty much as gold as you can get. This is actually a Baladeo. No idea what kind of steel this is, but I suspect it's not very high quality. It is pretty sharp though, I have to say. So again, to close this one, you just rotate this middle up and then you rotate again on a different axis and you got it closed but these two incredibly unique on the other hand as far as these go i'm still going to carry the kaiser mini bag letter so a lot of fun but at the same time this is more practical in every way shape or form